Chetan Seth, Samir Seth, Damini Seth, Rik Sharma, Pooja Mehra and Neil Khatan. If you are wondering what is wrong with all these people, then let me tell you that one of them killed Shagun Seth. But one of them just didn't kill Shagun Seth, one of them killed a murderer. So the question that now arises is, who killed the murderer? So let us begin the review of this latest crime thriller by Moitri Bhadari and let's find out Kisne Mara Kuniko. The title is very unique, fresh and catchy and it instantly makes a reader wonder what the hell is this book about. As until now, I've been reading murder mysteries trying to figure out who the murderer is and suddenly I have a book title like this. Hence, the title is very gripping, forcing the reader to grab the book and turn on its pages and find out why Shagun Seth is the murderer in the first place and in the second place, who killed the murderer. Now coming to the cover and just like the title, the cover is very fresh, unique and gripping and you cannot take your eyes off it if you happen to lay them upon it even momentarily. Here in the cover, we can see the shadow of a woman in trance with her hair blowing away. We can also see a shadow of streak emanating from her and growing thicker as it goes down. In the background, the combination of blue and red color imparts an overall mystic feel to the cover. Now coming to the overall paperback quality and the dynamic tree sheet publishers have done an excellent job in producing a paperback that has an excellent visual as well as touchy appeal. The book length overall is around 206 pages and the printed MRP of the book is around 350 rupees. But you can easily avail it on Amazon.in at a price of around 230 and the Kindle version of the book is available at around 175 rupees. The story heavily dwells upon two characters, Shagun Seth, the victim or the murderer, whatever I like to call her, and Millie Ray, the private detective investigating her case. Whereas Shagun Seth has an unstable personality courtesy of a prank gone wrong in her childhood, Millie Ray too suffers from the panic attacks of her own. Yet, the two women are astute in their own respect and when it comes to the matter of self-esteem and proving a point, none of them falls out of their shoes. One fine day, the beautiful, gorgeous, seductive and the heartthrob TV actress Shagun Seth is found dead while undertaking her facial treatment in the ramp look beauty parlor in Pandra West. Her husband Chidan Seth is discovered next to her dead body in the room that no one entered or exited other than him. He is later arrested as the chief suspect but was Chidan alone in the room with Shagun at that time or did someone else play onto him? Samir said his brother approaches the private detective Millie Ray and persuades her to investigate the case and find out who the real murderer is. But wait a minute. Magar kyun? Are bhaiya, because Samir said was himself accused of attempting to kill Shagun a year ago. And so it could be Rick Sharma, the flamboyant TV actor whom Shagun is supposed to be engaged after filing divorce with her husband. And that is not all. Shagun's producer Neil Khaitan, who shared a dirty secret with her, Shagun's mother-in-law Damini said, who hated her as she had ruined the sanctity of her home, Shagun's own sister Pooja Mehra, who was always jealous of her fame and beauty and what to speak, Shagun's 12-year-old son Rohit, whom Shagun hated for some strange reason of her own. All of them are primary suspects in a cold-blooded murder. Now the question is, will Millie be able to find out who the real killer is or will she succumb to her own panic attacks while dealing with the most challenging and shocking case of her life? To find out, click into your Amazon or whatever account or simply walk into a bookstore near you and pick up the modern mystery of this year that is at par as any Agatha Christie novel. Now friends, coming to my verdict of this book, why I like this book is because this book, apart from being a breathtaking crime thriller, goes deep into the psychology of a criminal mind and it describes as how a single traumatic event happening with an 11-year-old child can deprive him or her out of a lifetime of emotions and turn him or her into a cold-hearted adult. 
a cold hearted adult whom everyone wishes to be dead. So friends I hope that you like this video and if you did then please do not forget to hit the like button. Also if you are new to the channel then don't go without subscribing and if you like the natural green background used in this vlog and wish to keep it the same then just remember what the 7 times Mr. Olympia, the Terminator and the ex-California governor said. Less meat, less heat, more life.